for my thesis film, I'm exploring the lives of a, group, a small group of Yemeni refugees who arrived in South Korea a couple of years ago and who have been struggling to make a life for themselves in the East Asian country. I'm focusing particularly on one Yemeni refugee named Omar. Omar arrived to South Korea through a remarkable journey with refuge-seeking sojourns in Armenia and Malaysia while finally ending, ending up in South Korea. Today, Omar is stuck in South Korea on a temporary visa while he struggles to figure out a way to be reunited with his wife and kids who are back in Yemen and his parents, who I was surprised to learn were living right here in Dearborn, Michigan. In, in the beginning, when I met him, I was really surprised to learn that his family was living just 20 minutes from me back home. And so when I got back to Michigan at the end of the summer, I started filming with his dad and I learned the incredible story of his family uh, through the perspective of Omar and then also from the experiences of Omar's father, Muhammad. And so for the past year, I've been filming in both places, uh, Dearborn and Seoul, uh, to try to tell a story that's um, truthful and nuanced and tries to raise awareness about the everyday struggles of refugees all over the world through the lens of the experience of this one particular family. Um, for me, I come from a background where most of my work does revolve around uh, human rights and refugees and fighting racism and raising awareness about um, social causes and social injustices around the world and right here locally in, in Michigan and De in Detroit. Um, so I think that's one of the most important things about documentary filmmaking. And I think one of the things that I really want to show with Omar's story is that despite living in, you know, what's known as a wealthy country, South Korea, uh, there's a lot of struggles and challenges because a lot of countries, including the United States, have very restrictive um, policies around refugee rights and uh, even asylum, even the asylum process of how to become a refugee in, in, in one of these countries. It's really difficult, it's really challenging, and I think South Korea is probably one of the most difficult countries um, to get uh, refugee status in. One of the biggest challenges that Omar is facing today is that he's not allowed to bring his wife and kids to Korea to be resettled there. And so the family separation becomes unbearable, as you can imagine, for anybody to you know, live away from their family, especially their wife and kids, for that long. It's really difficult. So one of the things that I'm hoping uh, to document is his struggle and his journey to end up in a country where he can be reunited with his wife and kids and then ultimately with his parents as well. And I, I think that the film is going to take a couple years to finish because we're following Omar's story without guiding it in any way. Uh, we're trying to just follow where Omar will go and see where he ends up.